Mercedes-Benz ML of the second generation, 2005-2011 years of release. Today, if you're wondering, is it worth buying a second generation Mercedes-Benz ML and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you're at the right place. So surprisingly, many Mercedes-Benz MLs with a range of under 200 to 150,000 kilometers can boast of a well-preserved interior. The higher mileage of the car is given only by the dull wooden inserts in the interior, the peeling steering wheel and the cracking leather upholstery of the seats. However, high-quality pre-sale preparation is able to return the interior to its original gloss, so it's more and more difficult to judge its condition about the mileage of a particular instance. Those who bought a used Mercedes-Benz ML should start looking for a smart electrician in advance. A garland of bulbs in the instrument cluster indicating errors in a particular system is not uncommon on this car. The problems are aggravated by the fact that the information processing units on the second ML are not very well located. One of them is located under the front passenger seat, the second in the trunk behind the right wall trim. In the wallpaper cases, the blocks are not isolated from moisture getting into them, which is fraught with trouble. The critical period for the electronics of the German crossover is 6-7 years of operation. After this period, the car may stop recognizing its owner and the engine may stop starting. Fortunately, most often we are talking about relatively easy to fix problems. It's possible, for example, to bring the air conditioner back to life after flashing its control unit. If the climate system starts to whistle during operation, it's worth preparing to replace the expensive motor. The electric drives of the heater flaps of which there are as many as 8 pieces in the German crossover can also be capricious. The M272's 3.5 liter 6 cylinder engine of the ML is technically challenging. That there is one balancer shaft in the collapse of the block. On cars produced in 2005-2007, a delicate metal ceramic gear was installed in the drive of the balance shaft, which wore out for a run of 50-60 thousand kilometers. Gradually, the products clogged the oil pump, which negatively affected the resource of the engine itself. In addition, due to gear wear, a valve timing shift could occur. Of course, German engineers modernized the unsuccessful part, but even after that, its resource at best reached only 150,000 km. After this mark, it's worth preparing for an expensive repair, due primarily to the high complexity of replacement work. The engine must first be removed from the engine compartment and only then disassembled. By the mileage of 150,000 km on the M272 series engine, the valve timing clutches begin to be capricious. To the same mark, you have to change the tensioners, dampers and the chain in the timing drive. The procedure also turns out to be not cheap. It's important to understand that a 3.5 liter engine, like most other high-tech units, is extremely demanding on the quality of fuel and oil. In addition, the cylinder walls covered with a special coating do not tolerate the effects of abrasive substances. Over time, design features are complemented by age-related problems, so you should be prepared for the failure of control units, numerous sensors and wear on the intake manifold flaps even with high quality and timely service. Mercedes-Benz ML customers do not have to choose a gearbox. This is a 7-speed automatic 7G-tronic, the design of which cannot be called simple either. Fortunately, the possibilities of electronic diagnostics of the machine are very wide, so if you wish, you can find out about the real state of the box even before buying. I'm glad that Mercedes-Benz engineers have been actively working to read the 7G Tronic of congenital defects. In 2007, they presented an upgraded version of the box, resource of which increased to 200,000 km. So, for example, after modernization, the control electronics became much more reliable, which until then didn't withstand any criticism. Interestingly, on diesel Mercedes-Benz ML, the transmission has an additional heat exchanger, which makes it work in more favorable temperature conditions. Some owners trying to extend the service life of the machine and did install a huge radiator from the AMG version. However, sooner or later, in any case, you will have to repair the 7G Tronic. The control solenoids are the first to give up. And if you do not take into account the gradually changing nature of gear shifting, then the clutches will also have to be replaced. Another feature of the automatic Mercedes-Benz ML is that the torque converter in it has a hard blocking mode. Thus, the torque converter lockup is essentially a wet clutch. And all would be fine, but driving through city congestion with frequent switching leads to rapid contamination of the oil with clutch wear products. As a result, it's better to forget about the recommended oil change interval of 60,000 km. It should be cut in half. 
The all-wheel drive system in the Mercedes-Benz ML is initially very reliable. The service life of the transfer case is 200,000 km. After this mark you will have to change both the extended chain and the worn-out bearings. The fact that the repair time is approaching will be prompted by the hum of the bearings and the grinding of the chain under load. Do not ignore the sudden vibrations. By the way, not all Mercedes-Benz MLs can be considered SUVs, the road to which is closed on real off-road. For this model, the German company offered an optional off-road pro package, significantly expanding the MLs capabilities on rough terrain. Speaking about the suspension resource, it's worth starting from the configuration first of all. There are practically no complaints about the spring suspension. The weak link can be considered unless the stabilizer struts which require replacement with a run of 80,000 km. The rest of the suspension consumables are able to hold out up to 120,000 km. Springs, rear shock absorbers and steering rows will become unusable for this run. The lower arms and front shock absorbers last longer, an average of 150,000 km. The fact that the levers need to be replaced will be prompted by a creak coming from the side of the silent blocks. The mark of 140-150 thousand kilometers is also critical for wheel bearings, but only if the car has standard wheels. Fitting large, low-profile wheels to the ML will significantly reduce wheel bearing life. The air suspension situation is much more complicated. For some reason, the engineers of the German company didn't provide for protective covers for the cylinders of pneumatics. As a result, the frontal elements, which have to be changed exclusively in pairs, can withstand no more than 120,000 km. For the replacement of the Rex, you will have to pay at least 50,000 rubles. Another 25,000 rubles should be paid for replacing the pneumatic hose. Not cheap at all, but it's still flowers. If you analyze the forums dedicated to this model, it turns out that even with a successful scenario, you have to spend about 150,000 rubles annually on the repair and maintenance of the Mercedes-Benz ML. In the event of more serious breakdowns, annual expenses easily increase to 300,000 rubles. In other words, for the money that will be spent on the operation of an average ML in 3-4 years, you can buy a new budget sedan. And even if a miracle happens and you manage to buy a copy that is really in perfect condition, the cost of operating it will still not be small. This is something to keep in mind, otherwise a couple of years of savings risks turning the German crossover not into a source of pleasure, but into a daily headache. If you are the owner then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.